What's up everybody, Zach here with Southern Loan Retrievers and welcome to another episode of Sick of Gear Reviews. Today we are looking at two pieces and they end up being a layering piece of the system. All right, sticking with the waterfowl and uh, white tail line, we're gonna be going over the top and bottom merino heavyweights. So these are of course uh, one of the base layers to the entire layering system which there is a kind of standard but it's pretty much as you see fit now i wear these on just about every i don't know how you want to classify but cold weather hunt um mainly because of the weight uh, or lack thereof and then well heck they're warm so before we dive into them as very little as there is to them let's go right off of the website and we'll start with the top first so the merino heavyweight half zip is a great solution for foundation base layers uh, when the mercury drops. Built with a premium 17.5 micron merino wool face printed with Gore-Tex Optifade. Uh, concealment and backed with a soft polyester interior, this half zip delivers concealment, odor control, and coral warmth for the mid to late season pursuits up and down the flyways. So this was obviously designed, uh, it, it can be universal across the board, but in this case, they designed this specially for uh, 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 waterfowl hunting. Um, at the same time, I'm sure Whitetail and Big Game uh, has their own. But this comes in three colors. Obviously, it comes in the Waterfowl Marsh, it comes in the Waterfowl Timber, and it also comes in the Elevated 2. All right, so that's where I kind of bring in the Waterfowl, or excuse me, the uh, Whitetail line. Weight-wise, very lightweight. I mean, any base layer just about is going to be really lightweight but they took it up a notch and i mean there's barely anything to it now when you see it you think this is not heavyweight you expect something heavy to be you know a heavyweight layer not in this case they took the merino wool and, and it, it's kind of hard to judge because before i i rarely wore merino wool the raw form if you want to say so anyone you, you kind of have to know what it was before before you can evaluate what it is now it wasn't fun to wear. Uh, it worked, don't get me wrong, very good. But, man, if you would sweat in that, goodbye. Not even a chance. <laughs> that thing would stink up my washroom for weeks. Um, and I, I'm a sweater, so I mean, either way, it stunk. This I haven't had one issue with. I mean, it, it literally just goes in with the, the rest of the wash and it's just, you don't even know it's there sometimes. There's no smell. So great for odor control, especially for merino wool. So they kind of took the best of both worlds and, and combined it. Uh, and they did a heck of a job. So let's break this top down. Top here, I mean, it's all one solid layer of this merino wool. So, I mean, the collar, it is a stand-up, but nine times out of ten, you, you kind of fold it down and, and have it, you know, this is a regular collar. But it does, it does offer that little neck guard. Not much, but a little bit. Back side up on the neck, we have the Sika logo without the letters. All right, and that is heat pressed, it looks like, on the back. Going over here to the front, we've got our nice little zipper stopper right here. Um, for some reason, this one works a lot better than the other ones. How, how I can explain that is the other ones, they, they kind of push off more, uh, the zippers on the collar when they're all the way zipped. So you don't actually feel it as much. But this one, because it's a base layer, it's right up against your skin. So if you have a zipper up against your skin, especially if it's cold out, this is clutch. So this is where that really comes into play. We have a very small zipper, but very smooth zipper, and it goes down a lot. And I think they did this mainly for just getting it on and off, especially if you're sweaty. Um, so it goes a long way down, all right, almost to about right below the uh, uh, mid chest line. Sleeves, again, it's very simple. It's all one piece very well stitched they have the uh, uh oh no they don't very well stitched um coming down here to the cuffs there's no uh there's no thumb band which honestly I, I prefer that but it doesn't ride up and i think that was one of the best features about that is you, you don't have to worry about riding up it has a very good lock on your uh on your skin going all the way down again it's just a very straightforward piece of layer all right um, it does run a little long and it does have you can see a little bit of a cape that white portion down there at the bottom um, It's good because when you're sitting down if you tuck your layers in like I do sometimes uh, They'll always come out. So I like that the cape is on here 
Moving on to the bottoms. All right, right off the site. Now, I don't know why they did this. Maybe someone can let me know in the comments. I don't know why they did uh, uh, this way with the colors, but it only comes in the Waterfowl Marsh, which is what we're looking at right in front of me, and then the Elevated too. There's no timber. So I know a bunch of you guys and gals, when they're out there, you, you gotta have everything in one. And I'm starting to get like that, but that's a question I always had when I was buying this because I would have gotten the timber. Nonetheless, it's a layer. No one's really going to see it. So it comes in those two colors. The description is very short and to the point. It says a premium 17.5 micron merino wool face backed by a soft polyester interior. Provides a highly insulating, breathable, stretchy, and naturally excuse me, odor resistant bottom for adaptable layering when the mercury drops. Pretty straightforward, sounds pretty much like the other one. Um, yeah, there ain't much to this one. I mean, it, it's what's nice, I think the only real big thing about this is for guys, it has your, uh, your urinating well. I hate, I hate, and I know Nike and Under Armour do this before, you know, this kind of came about hardcore. Um, yeah, I mean, without providing too many details, you, you just pretty much have to take everything off or, you know, <laughs> go cave diving through, you know, your zipper and try to find everything. And, man, if it's cold, it's worse. And it, that's a story for another time. But the bottoms, same as the top, all right? I will wear these sometimes in, like, the late winter when I'm, uh, I got my waders on. I'll just wear these sometimes underneath. It does the job, you know, some thick socks over top. And um, it, it, like I said, it has a good lock to the skin, but it doesn't, it doesn't hold tight up here. So like right now it looks like a pair of boxers with the camera. That area right there is like where it's not loose, but not constricting, which is really nice. Okay. Besides that guys, it, it's very straightforward. I mean, there's not much to it. They get the job done. Um, now comparing this to anything else, I don't have the heavyweight bottoms or top. I'd be interested to hear what you guys think if you have them. Um, I always wondered, you know, what kind of the difference is and if they're warmer or not so much. Um, so let me know in the comments and uh, we will go from there. Besides that, base layers here, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a five out of five. I haven't had this let me down yet. So. Go online, they're sitting at 149. They go for from medium to 3XL, and uh, they've actually got stock in large. So head on over there, guys. Appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and make sure I'm going to start doing this now. Make sure you guys at least subscribe. That's going to be huge so I can keep these reviews coming. Because sick of stuff is expensive, man. We all know it, we all feel the struggle. So thank you for watching. Go subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. We're out.